I did cleaning to raise the funds and I am proud to say that with my degree one graduation Hi guys, so go Lala Matams, also known as Gelwapa Z, go from Zambia. Umwana Koshi Wapa Zambia. I'm just a girl from Zambia. Go from Zambia. Good to see you on my YouTube channel. If you've never ever subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am begging you please to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cause I'm just here to tell you guys all the lovely, lovely stories. So today is a bit of a different vlog. It's a story time vlog. I just want to tell you guys a story about me, about Lila Matams. As you can see in the title, yes, me, c'est moi, did cleaning jobs. So let's talk about me being a cleaner in the UK. I worked as a cleaner. I worked as a cleaner in order for me to raise the capital and the funds that I needed for my farm business. And most times you might have heard me encourage people to start businesses, to raise funds together and start small businesses and you can do any, any job, any ordinary job. Well, this girl was doing cleaning jobs here in the UK. I've been cleaning schools, I've cleaned offices. I remember before I was going to Zambia uh, for me to go and see my farm, I had been doing a cleaning job cleaning some offices like cabins like uh, the place is more like an engineering site kind of place and i was just there cleaning every time faithfully and would sing to myself and would tell myself i'm doing this for a reason i'm doing this because i need to raise money for my farm business so i was there cleaning faithfully and each time I got the money, I was just saving the money. And I said, yes, I'm going to save this money for me to set up my farm. That is why I always say it doesn't matter the job you do. It must be legal. You can raise the capital that you require for you to start your business. So I was cleaning, guys, every morning. This is one of my pictures of me cleaning and i was also working for a company that cleans houses as well for homeless people and i was cleaning faithfully i just was looking at my goal i need the money for me to set up this thing and it didn't bother me it didn't bother me i knew i needed to put water on the farm i knew i needed to put certain things in place on the farm so for me that was my target that was my goal I'm here to encourage you that most times you undermine yourselves just because you, you're doing a useless job. People call it useless job. You're doing a menial job and you feel you can't even achieve anything with a menial job. Yes, you can. You can achieve a lot. It takes just capital in order for you to breathe amounts of money. You know, without capital, there's no profit. So you need capital first. So we, whatever you can do legally to get your capital, do it. I was cleaning guys, clean toilets, classrooms, hoovered the floors, did everything. And I'm still here slaying for you guys. Can you tell I worked as a cleaner? Do I look like I worked like, as a cleaner? Do I? Of course I don't, but that's just me telling you the real truth. I worked as a cleaner. No disrespect to people who are doing menial jobs or anything. You don't have to stick on a menial job for life in your life. I've seen people here in the Western world build mansions back home because of cleaning jobs. The jobs that people say, that job is shitty. That job is rubbish. Why are you doing that job? I've cleaned courts, guys. UK courts. And I didn't even know that one day I will be a human rights law student. I was cleaning and hoovering. 
And even when I was a student, even when I graduated as a degree holder in social work, it has never bothered me. I still work any job, legal job, as long as it gives me the money that I need to invest in my business. That is your, that should be your target. That should be your target. That should be your goal. That sh you should dream big about your dreams, you know. It doesn't matter how you raise your money. What matters is how you invest your money. You can have a lot of money and not invest wisely. So the importance of having money is for you to invest your money. So when you have the profits, you can now stop that job and focus on your business. I don't need to go back and work as a cleaner now because I did what I needed to do in order for me to raise the capital that I needed for me to set up what I wanted to set up. It's very important, guys. I just wanted to share with you guys that I have worked as a cleaner. And you know how it is when you're cleaning uh, toilets, guys, when people mess up. You have no choice but to clean it. You wear your gloves and you just clean and by the time you're coming back again, and I'm not talking about many years ago, last year, 2018, I worked as a cleaner. Last year, not 10 years ago, no. Last year. We're only how many months into the new year? Six months, so last year. I've cleaned garages. This is another thing I want to tell you guys. I cleaned this garage, yeah? Ford garage, I'll mention it. And they had this Mustang. Is it how do you pronounce it? Mustang, Mustang. And I told myself, I'm gonna go back to that garage one day and buy that car cash. And when I buy that car cash, I'm gonna remind them, do you remember when I was cleaning for you guys these offices? I'm here to buy that car. I cleaned garages, I remember cleaning the floors polishing the floors and i was admiring this yellow mustang a blue one brand new cars and i would clean faithfully clean everywhere and these people you know how it is when you work with people in offices they are just like oh you want the bean and they'll pass the bean to you and i'm just like i'm a graduate but i don't care if uk doesn't give me a job as a graduate i'm gonna do any job to raise my funds that's what matters to me the system will tell you, you don't have experience. You don't have experience. For how long will I be waiting for experience? I thought the reason why we graduate is so that we can have experience, but they will tell you, we don't have experience. This brings me back to this Nigerian vlogger that was discouraging Nigerians from applying for schools in the UK and because at the end of the day, you will never get a job. So this vlogger was discouraging people from studying in the UK, said Nigerians don't apply to study in the UK, don't go to the UK and uh, people were like, oh yeah, it's a good thing to go to the UK and everything, I've studied here in the UK, but I can tell you something about the system, they don't care about you getting a degree job. Unlike other countries like Canada, Australia, that rush for the graduates, here they don't care. They will just tell you, you don't have experience. For the past, how many years I've qualified now? I'm still being asked for my experience. So what am I going to do? Wait for the time I'll get experience to get a job. I'm going to clean. So I was cleaning, guys. I've made my money through cleaning and I'm happy to work as a cleaner. I'm not even ashamed to work as a cleaner because at the end of the day, what I want is that money for my investment. So that Nigerian vlogger, that lady, I'm going to show you a clip of what she said. She was right. She was right. You end up in a system that just gives you petty jobs. I've seen PhD holders doing any menial jobs just because the system says you don't have experience. You don't have experience. You don't have experience. You don't have, you, you don't have experience. You know what I mean? You don't have experience. That's what they tell us. So at the end of the day, you are put in a system that makes you work cleaning jobs mean your jobs and you meet people who are not even educated bossing you about do this do that do this and you're like okay so i sat in class for how many years three years doing my degree and i come to somebody who's never even experienced maybe this person dropped out at 16 
And this person is telling me, do this, do this, do that. Is that what you want to do? You don't need that. If I were to encourage someone, the place that they should go to, Australia, Canada. These countries, America is also good. These countries, they embrace graduates. They embrace, they love you. They want graduates. You know, if you see me in Canada, just know I'm going there to work as a social worker. I'm a qualified social worker, by the way, for those of you who don't know about me. I have a degree in social work. I studied social work on a full scholarship. Here's my picture of my graduation. I was so happy to study at a university and I thought this was the beginning of great things in the UK. I'm going to get a job. As soon as I qualify, I'm going to get a job and earn 24,000, is it 27,000 a year? And then I'll be getting 20, 27,000, 28,000 and then I'll start working for an agency and be getting um, 35 pounds an hour, up to 50 pounds an hour as a social worker. It never happened. <laughs> I worked as a cleaner with my degree here. That's what's up. So now you know, guys, uh, I would encourage you to study here. But if you're looking for opportunities to live and stay, Australia and Canada, these are the two places. I remember encouraging one of my friends. Um, she wanted her sister to come over here. And I said, no, 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 no. Don't waste her time here. Let her go to australia and she is happy and settled in australia i've seen so many people leave this country go to australia and they are very happy so many people qualified nurses social workers i've got a, an english friend of mine who was a social worker same class we were in the same class she graduated in the same class with me she's in new zealand and she is happy 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 as a bunny new zealand is also a good place for you to migrate to if you want to migrate to that place but in the UK, you can work as a cleaner with your degree. They don't care. The system doesn't care about you having a degree. That's just the truth, the plain truth. I'm not here to lie to you guys, to entertain you, or to tell you, hey, no, I work as a social... No, 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 I work as a cleaner. In fact, there was a time I was even tired of paying for my registration because what happens is every year you have to pay for your registration, uh, for you to be registered as a social worker, you're on the list and everything. At the end of the day, you're applying for jobs, no jobs. Apply for job, no job. And then the job will tell you that if you don't have uh, your PIN number, you can't apply for the job. Okay, you're paying for your PIN number. You've, you apply for a job, the job, they don't give you the job. You're paying so much money for your PIN number, at the end of the day, you don't get a job. So why am I paying for my PIN number? It's better I even become a vlogger than paying for my PIN number at the end of the day, you don't give me a job. Why am I paying for my PIN number? That's what happened to me. So I've been working as a cleaner, guys. Like cleaner, I've posted a video on my Facebook and I said, do you know that I clean toilets? I clean toilets. I clean toilets with a degree in my hands. I clean toilets with my degree. Is that a fair system? No. Because the moment I graduate, I should even be receiving calls, letters, you know, Offering us from wherever we've done our placement to say, oh, we're offering you a job, but they don't give you a job. Job. They never give it to you. You know what I mean? You don't get it. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I just wanted you guys to know the truth about myself. That I've been working as a cleaner. Despite me having a degree, no one has cared about me having a degree. And that's just how it is. So life is unfair. People with degrees are stuck abroad with menial jobs and people with degrees in Africa have no jobs. And people in Africa with degrees and have no jobs are saying, I'd rather be there in the UK and be cleaning. Are you sure? There was a time, guys, my knuckles were black. Black. Black like charcoal because of cleaning. Is that the job you want to do? And slay on Facebook or Instagram and Twitter. Going out shopping after cleaning. After being bossed about by those non-educated people. A friend of mine worked for HR. 
she's from a certain country in Africa, I won't mention. And she said each time the applications were coming in, different people were applying for jobs. The manager would just look at the last name and say, put it in the bin. Just like that. Put it in the bin. And if it has a good name, a good last name, especially for some of us with the name Mutambo. Hi. In the bin. Mutambo. In the bin. But the ones that have Johnson, you know, you uh, West Africans, you are lucky. You have names like Johnson, Michaels, Daniels. You get jobs because they'll, by the time they realize that the Johnson they've offered the job is actually from Africa, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. But me with Mutambo, straight, bin. Why, am I, why are they going to give me the job when I have an African name? You see, so life is unfair, but... That's what I told myself. I, I have a heart of a billionaire. And billionaires don't look at the job. What they look at is the money they will get to invest. So for me, I said, devil, you are a liar. You will not stop me from accessing the funds I need to invest. I did cleaning to raise the funds. And I am proud to say that with my degree one graduation gown is it was graduation gown mm -hmm. one my graduation gown i was a graduate uh -huh. i still did cleaning and they'll ask me oh so you're not working as a social worker i said yeah because they've told me i don't have experience that's what they've told me not like i have any problem but you don't have experience Anywhere I go, they will even write, we're looking for newly qualified people to work. You don't have experience. But the job says newly qualified. No, we've hired somebody who has more experience than you. Oh, really? So what do you expect me to do? Sit down for five years since I graduated in 20, 2013 and wait for experience? No. I did some work before in a town up north and I did my post qualifying experience briefly it was amazing then i moved further north and here they'll just tell you you don't have two years experience okay teach me then to have the two years experience where do you expect me to get experience without a job and then i work as a cleaner and then when i'm speaking especially when i'm speaking to like the bosses you know the construction site where i was working i was working with um you know engineers you know computer people and then they were like you speak so well why are you here? I don't have experience. That's why I'm cleaning. And that's what the system allows you. The menial jobs. They will press you to the menial jobs. That's what the system allows you to do. I know a guy who was a qualified accountant. He was just doing a menial job. And I looked at him and said, look, my young sister is a qualified accountant. She's a boss of MTN in Zambia. She's a boss. You are here cleaning with your SCCA. Ha! Why? Go to Africa and get a job there. There's a man from Kenya who did an interview on YouTube. He talked about how he was a teacher here and he said he worked as a cleaner and stuff like that. But in Kenya now, he's a head teacher of a top private school and he said he was doing menial jobs here. And that's just the truth. And that is why I'm working so hard because I wouldn't even want my children to ever do any cleaning job ever. My son is 15. He's allowed to have a job now. And I've told him you will never work any menial job. You are going straight to university. I don't want you to work in McDonald's. No. I want you to go straight to college. Do your A-levels. Do whatever. So that's what the system does here. So that Nigerian vlogger that talked about Nigerians don't apply come going to the UK for school. She was right. What's the point of you finishing your studies and then you're not allowed or you're not given an opportunity to study here, but you're rather given a work permit to work for two years as what? A cleaner, a carer, a cook, whatever. They say you can get a job as a professional, but in, in most cases, it is a challenge for most people. 
I know a guy with a very good degree and a master's in IT. He works in Tesco, filling shelves, night shift. And on, at the weekend, he's in a care home looking after the elderly people. He's got a master's and a degree. Wouldn't he set up his own business in Africa with that? He would. But you see, that's what the system does. And then you are going back to paying taxes and you know that's why you have to plan for your life if you have money now the little you get don't eat mcdonald's mm -mm, don't eat a bar don't eat a gusi don't eat njima don't eat all those foods save some invest where you come from where you come from invest there have a small piece of land some start doing something there's a lady that showed flats on her YouTube channel. Amazing flats. Amazing. I will post her link because I was impressed. I even said congratulations. I was so happy. She lives somewhere abroad. She's not even like uh, working the most expensive jobs or elite jobs, but she built amazing flats in Africa, Nigeria to be specific. Amazing flats. And she was doing it. A video showing this is one of my flats so you too can do the same don't despise the jobs you do don't be younger younger or showing yourself I can't do this job ah, me in my town I'm a big I can't, I'm a big girl I'm a big boy I can't do cleaning do it for now that you have energy run around do any job whatever job that will give you the capital that you need a capital you to start a small business and God will see you through so what's the point of you starting here and at the end of the day you can't even get a job in your qualifications that is why I would rather encourage people to apply to go to Canada Australia or New Zealand these are the countries that offer people opportunities not here definitely not here definitely not here Lots of people inbox me even on my Facebook asking me they would like to come to the UK. I tell them, what do you want to come and do? No, I'm looking for a job. I tell them, don't even think about it. Stay where you are. If you want a place to go to Canada, Australia and New Zealand and America. America is good, but Canada, Canada, Canada. I love Canada. That's just what I'll say. I love Canada and other places as well are good. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys that I've worked as a cleaner despite me having a degree. So you studying here doesn't guarantee you a job, but it rather even depresses you. And that's why some people even fall into depression, guys. You can imagine you have a degree and then you are working as a cleaner. But as for me, I don't care about those things. I can do any legal job as long as it gives me the money. So for those of you who think that maybe I'm a gold digger, I, I, I want Nigerian men for money, that's not me. <laughs> I am very, very independent. I love working and making my own money. That's what I love. I've seen lots of comments on my YouTube video that I did on Nigerian men. People were saying, oh, you sound like a gold digger. You sound like a materialistic person. I'm not, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not a materialistic person. A materialistic person will never do a cleaning job. <laughs> would you go and do cleaning job if you're a materialistic person? You will just look for a rich man that will help your life. But if you are a go-getter, you will do cleaning jobs. So it's good to read comments. That's why for me, I take my time. I go on my YouTube videos and I read each and every comment. I analyze and I reflect what are they trying to say. And then I make a video like now I worked as a cleaner and I'm not a gold digger and I'm proud to be a cleaner. So if I marry a rich man, it's a bonus because he will marry a lady that can clean. I know how to use all the chemicals, guys. <laughs> I know the colors of the mops, the buckets, the water, how to mix. I am an expert, you see. So it might be like, oh, I was doing cleaning or oh, I'm not getting getting any experience but that cleaning is probably preparing me for my marriage who knows maybe it's god's will for me to know how to use this chemical maybe i'll marry a billionaire you know that uses these expensive chemicals and if i don't know i'll just look lost like what, what, what is this <laughs> 
So it's important, guys, to just take life as it comes and accept and appreciate every opportunity that comes your way. But coming here, no, definitely no, unless you're coming to study. So don't be here just buying yourself designer clothes to show off to people that you wear the latest clothes and yet the job you're doing is not even something to run home about or even to show off. You can't even show off on social media the job you do. People just see you flaunting things on social media. It's not necessary. Use that little money. I know most of you people are doing great things, but I'm just encouraging other people as well who might think, ah, why should I invest in Africa? Africa is a problem. Africa. Ah, me, Africa, invest. Home is home. Home is home. Where you come from, invest. Whether it's a village, like I said before in a live stream, build schools, build hospitals, support the people there. $1,000 can build a school in the village. Uh -huh. I explained this before. It's very important that you look at where you come from. It's very important. Don't forget home. Home is where you come from. Okay? Just remember me for this, okay? With that, guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Lelomo Tams, also known as Gelo Papa Z. It's a girl, Lelomo Tams, also known as Gelo Papa Z. I'm just a girl from Zambia. See you next time, guys. Let's work as cleaners and invest. Be sharp. Think about the future. Oh yeah. Take care. Just like in my mama. I no go tell lie. The way you know me, just like in my mama. Turn around, why no waste it? Dancey can and I, what a bestie. Turn around, why no waste it? Dancey can and I, what a bestie. You make my plane is scatter. My baby, my baby girl, I love you. Yeah. Oh baby. Oh yeah, what is this a